Welcome. Uh, this video is going to be about measuring with a microscope. I have a microscope right here and as you can see the things that you see under a microscope are microscopic and it's you can't just take a ruler and put it underneath the objective lens and get accurate estimates of how big something is because you're dealing with things that are very small. So this lecture talks about how you measure with a microscope. Basically, you first thing you have to think about is what unit of measurement am I going to use? Because you're looking at microscopic objects, millimeters, which we normally think of as a very small unit of measurement, is actually not small enough to take care of this situation. So there's a thing called a micrometer, which is uh, one millimeter equals 1,000 micrometers. So if you think of a millimeter and how small a millimeter is, and then you divide that millimeter a thousand times, each one of those little divisions would be one micrometer. And that actually turns out to be a, just a perfect unit of measurement for estimating uh, and measuring the size of objects in a light microscope. So how do you do it? Well, you don't have to have a ruler to measure something. As long as you know how big something else is, you can use that as a thing to measure with. Because a ruler is basically just something that we know the size of, or we have actually set up this as a standard, and we know that the ruler is a certain length, and we use it to compare other objects to it, and then we can make a quantitative observation or a measurement. So the way we do it is you use the diameter of the field of view as your measuring stick. So when you look through the microscope, you'll see the diameter of the field of view. And remember, the diameter is right across the middle, passing through the center of the circle. And if we know how large the diameter is, then we have something to measure with. All right, now you can measure. So let's take this example here. How large is each one of these cells? So notice how uh, it's given to us that the diameter of this particular field of view is two millimeters in diameter. So two millimeters can be converted to micrometers because we know that one millimeter equals 1,000 micrometers. So two millimeters equals 2,000 micrometers. Now, we also know that there's two cells fit across the diameter of this. So each cell is not 2,000 micrometers long. Each cell is half that distance. So we need to take 2,000 and divide it by two, the number that fit across the diameter, and that leaves us with each cell being 1,000 micrometers long. So what is the basic procedure to measure under a microscope? The first thing is you got to know the diameter. You have to have a measuring stick. And once you know the diameter of the field of view under your different objectives, then you are able to make measurements. The next thing is you have to estimate how many of the objects that you're trying to measure would fit across the field of view. A lot of times you have to estimate um, or try to mentally picture how many would form a little conga line across the diameter. But once you have that, you can take the diameter and divide the diameter by the number of objects that you estimated would fit across the diameter, and that would give you the size of each one of the objects that you're trying to measure. So here's one more quick example. If you wanted to know how big that cell was in the middle, right, you would try to mentally picture and estimate how many of those cells would fit across the diameter. And in this case, it looks like five, about five would fit. You know that the diameter of the field of view is 1,000 micrometers. So you take 1,000, you divide it by five, and it turns out that that cell is approximately 200 micrometers uh, long. And that gives you a much better observation than saying it was really small. I mean, I was using a microscope and it was small. I couldn't see it without the microscope. Now you can say the cell that I was looking at is approximately 200 micrometers long.
So, in summary, the diameter of the field of view is used as your measuring stick to estimate the size of the specimen in micrometers. It's really not as complicated as it seems once you understand this basic concept. I hope that was helpful.